is hello everyone here with another lego harry potter summer 2024 review and this one's on the mandrake that has recently been released so on the front of the box here we have the lego harry potter logos wizarding world logo and the usual border from since 2021 and picture of the mandrake in the greenhouse there and also recommended ages is 10 and up set number uh, 76433 has 579 pieces. Then flip to the back side of the box. See a picture of the mandrake being pulled out of the pot and also the main feature of it and the size and dimensions of it and uh, the Lego logo again and Harry Potter and Lego.com slash Harry Potter and there. And now onto the manual, of which the CGI rendering and the Lego Harry Potter logos again, and the transition from plastic plastic bags to paper bags. Advertisement for the builder app, and on the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set, and then advertisement for. For the uh, potions class uh, set that I, re I just reviewed, and also the uh, Allery and Bolt House sets, and how they all connect to the new Great Hall set that there is. And then the last building steps for it. And first off, for the build so which is the, uh, the pot that it comes in. As you see, quite unique build to it, where it's kind of just a uh, brick stacked on bricks and but at least with cornered bricks and plates in there but, but the only one bit of snot of which is in this is this uh, plate with a sticker on it saying mandrake and the hogwarts symbol on it and then on the top part is the like cornered uh curved slopes Oops, inwards and also other curved slopes that there so kind of a lack of studs on it and also these uh, larger plate or uh, cylinder type pieces to there to make it work good, of course. But then inside of which is just brown uh, two by four and one by four plates and one circular stud in the center. Like obviously to uh, point out that it's like right there or to not get uh, confused with it or something, but yeah. And of course, plates all in there for it to nest easily and also keep all the plates uh, held well. So that's so nice to see there. And then fairly much just the 4x4 four four plates holding these on in and off, obviously, and there. And that's about it with the pot here. And now onto the mandrake itself. Which, as we see, quite large, well, for the top part, but for the bottom part, which has quite unique feel to it, but although the texturing kind of similar to the uh, Baby Groots in the uh, Marvel theme to that, since obviously they're both plant-based, well, Groots kind of tree-like, and, and Mandrakes are just obviously made of roots, of course. And of course, position like this with the... This is kind of how it goes in the pot, which I'll show later. Like, as for the legs here, which are just these kind of seaweed kelp pieces, but in dark tan, nice to see there, and these like other plantish kind of pieces, those acting as like other root bits, and then these uh, large macaroni cylinder pieces, also kind of good there, and these technic bits acting as the upper leg parts and just kind of swing up and down quite easily so, so kind of good there and then as for the body parts of it I see just textured of jagged slopes curved slopes and also wedge plates and so on which kind of goes all the way around so especially on the back side which has a lot of that going on and then as for the arms here which 
same kind of piece for the legs there and or similar to the legs but also with these uh, elephant trunk kind of pieces here used for like extra fingers or something but yeah then the face part which 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 does have good use of these kind of pieces acting as the eyes and also uh, flat studs and tan to being like extra bits in there and also this heart piece from the Lego Movie 2 theme acting as a nose part I say good use of that piece and also if you the main feature is if you push this part on the sump belly then makes his mouth and arms uh, flap up and down so kind of good feature to that adding a bit of realism to it So as you can, so obviously quite snot heavy for that and for the whole build of it. And then as for the upper part of the head, the witch, which are there's three of these uh, large uh, leaf like parts or branches of them. As they like these top parts, which are kind of the same tail pieces as the 2021 basilisk kind of had, but in dark brown, which is good to use for mocking. And then as for the uh, rest of which, which I'll pan up for that, which do have these little assemblages that you kind of build onto both of them. And also do have some of the uh, clip parts from the Exoforce theme, but in dark brown first time I think and also these little whip like pieces that curl around and end up on the sides of the head so I say kind of nice use of these pieces to add in a bit of texturing and then as for one piece of which is do have this canopy piece in green obviously acting as a leaf and also these other different canopy pieces which are mostly from the a uh, Hero Factory 2014 uh, mechs and such, but in solid dark green. So, so well for mocking these, which would be quite useful in like uh, mech builds and such. And then, obviously, get about five of these large assemblies acting as the large leaves. To that, but, and the this two by six plate and this other campy piece in green that that these which have large stickers on so there's quite a few large stickers in this set so be aware of that and also to add these other jagged slope kind of parts in this area probably to make it as a full large leaf for that but then for the back side which just a few curved uh inver or inverted curved slopes i think that and so the and also they had to build the same thing like five times which is a bit of a pain to behold so well unless if you don't mind like large sub assemblies like uh wing parts in the uh tie fighter sets in star wars and such but yeah but however it was still well workable for that and then as for these lower parts of which these technic bits in dark green and these leaf parts in green of which Great to see here. And now to getting it the mandrake in the pot here is you can like just put the legs up and then have it drop right down into it. Oh which nice and smoothly and that if you were to like put it in to the pot of which just make sure you don't have it facing forwards because if it were facing forwards it can't fit in there just always have to do so sideways so keep that in mind but yeah and so now on to the final verdict so overall i think this is which a quite good set for how it is like for the 50 dollars for the fifty dollars that it is quite good for how it is like good size and good price piece per ratio or price per piece ratio kind of good and yeah and also first time we've ever had this uh band drink as a actual set even though we've oftentimes had as like a couple pieces held by mini figs of course well 
and of course, but luckily, about as much workable as some of the other buildable creatures that we've had, like Hedwig and Fox and uh, so on, and also uh, Expato Patronus and all. And also, but this does also work out as a good parts pack of a uh, nougat or kind of burntish orange and also a uh, dark brown and dark tan and plain green as well so and also although the feet and of course the feature of moving the mouth and arms up and down well suitable to this uh, thing in it but yeah and then also as for some of the building techniques of which quite unique on how they are like making the tail pieces being used as top branches and all I say quite clever for that even though you can obviously use that on plenty of tree parts in a mock and yeah so, and, and what else to say not much but yeah and so now if you are looking to get this set for your Harry Potter set collection definitely pick it up and if you were to look and to get this alongside the other Billable creature sets out of like Harry Potter, Star Wars, whatever, then definitely pick it up. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.